Do you see this cargo hold behind me? Well, today we are going to be filling up this cargo hold with other ship components. We're going to go to bunker to bunker and salvage all of the abandoned player ships to see if we can make a profit. This is probably not the most profitable gameplay, but I'm going to try my best and see how much we can make. And it's probably like just an interesting gameplay loop by going out there, exploring and seeing what we can find. So I'm quickly going to get into my pilot seat and make my way to the bunkers to see what we can find. At the moment, I am at Grim Hex. So if we want to find like a bunker or so forth, I usually just open up my Moby Glass, go to contracts and I look under mercenary. You can find bunkers just by looking at this, right? Since you get missions here and there. So I'll quickly take a look if I can find other. Otherwise, I'll just jump to some locations that I know. So here's my first location. I'm just going to go to NT99 right here on Yela. This is going to be my first location since it's a, it is a buying bunker, a nine tails bunker. So I will have to shoot down the turret, but it's nothing for the Corsair. So I'm quickly going to make my way over there and then I'll meet you guys there to see if there's anything. Okay, we're approaching the bunker. Let's quickly see if there's anything here. So far the radar hasn't picked up anything. So, so far a little bit disappointing, but maybe there's like a small ship and so forth. Let me just activate my shields just for in case. Servers are a bit laggy today. Jump down is still going. Yeah, so there's nothing here. Unfortunately. Let's go to the next location. Okay, we're at the next bunker here. You already can see something here. A C1 spirit. Which is super nice. Probably has a couple of things that we can get. Hopefully, the game has taken them over. So that we can get the components and sell them. Since I think if it's the player owned, we can't sell it. But if the game... Like it takes authority, we can sell the components. For the most part, I believe that is correct. But let's quickly see where's this bunker so that I can take out all the turrets. Okay, first turret here. Hopefully, there's only one. Recently, usually there's only one on the roof, and then we're good for the most part. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can open up this thing. Oh, it's already open. For some reason most ships that i usually find now is usually open so i don't know if the game does this for us or anything you can see this thing is pretty beaten up let me just see if there's any components left in it since i did do this today hopefully i'm not in the same server But there's some great changes coming for this type of gameplay where you won't get a crime stat if you destroy these ships. Plus with physicalized inventories, maybe you can find some loot boxes and guns and things. Might as well just put the ramp down. So I'm really excited for the next update, even though it might make it a little bit more tedious. If you like to harvest components or wreck diving, might make it a little bit more interesting. See that a little bit off the ground here to see if they have anything. Let's open up. So I think most of the components in the C1 is here. So there's some. So we definitely got something here. I just need to unlock the ports. I'll probably take the weapons as well. Okay, let's see if that worked now. Sometimes you need to do it a couple of times. Otherwise it doesn't activate. There we go. We got our first little component here. Just gonna put it towards my ramp and then take out the others as well. It's our first little one. I'm definitely gonna take the weapons as well. You get about 2,000 for a weapon, right? Nothing crazy. But this is just an interesting gameplay loop. And I'm really excited for physicalized components. Well, engineering as well. But all of this I'm going to go sell at Grimex at Dumpers Depot. There we go. And then this one, the Quantum, I think. 
Sometimes players can have upgraded ones as well and so forth. And you can sell it for a little bit more. I don't think we can take this one. This is the only thing you usually can't take in the C1 that I have noticed so far. So we won't be able to take that, but maybe we can get the weapons. We're just quickly going to load this up first. Oh, maybe I just do the weapons first. Let me just see. If the weapons are broken, we're not going to take them. But we can take the front too, at least. See, that almost broken. Ship is in pretty rough shape. Missiles is not really worth it if we do, they do take it, but yeah. Let's quickly move it over there. To our Corsair. Wonder, do they have more weapons? No, they have a tractor beam. There should be two more weapons on the C1, since it totally has four weapons, right? Let me just see if there's any. If I can spot them. Usually it's very difficult for me to spot either two. Let's just see. I feel like they're shut off. I think I'm good. I'll just quickly load up my Corsair. All of the components and then we'll probably be off to our next bunker. Maybe I should just... Let me just put everything close to the ramp so I can just load quickly. Apparently next patch, the weapons will also snap to the grid components. This will be super nice. These things keep flying around like crazy usually. And it can hurt your ship quite a bit. Especially the sparks. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. I know some people are complaining about the inventory system. I'm not an Evo Cardi, so I have no idea. But I'm hoping moves the game a little bit more forward. Good there. Now just three more components and then we should be all good. I'll just set this down as well and get the others on board. Like they're pretty big. When you track their beam them, it feels like they're not that big. They definitely, when you set it down on the ground, you can see, oh, pretty big. And then the last one. Then we can be out of here and check for more components. Pretty good start. First bunker was kind of dead. But the second one, pretty decent. So there we go. Our first little hole here. Let me quickly close up and let's go look for another bunker. Hoping to fill this whole floor with things and to see how much we can make. So I'll probably meet you guys at the next bunker. Okay, we're approaching we're approaching our next bunker, another NT99. Just here on Salon. So I just chose this one since I always know this is a bunker, right? A nine tail bunker. So let me quickly see if there's anything here that we might be able to gather. There's a little Avenger Titan so far. But I can see. And then there is an eclipse. So the eclipse is probably doomed. We can't really enter that ship. But we might be able to get something else. So let me just quickly get the turret here. Before it kills us. There we go. Turret is down. So events are tightened. Looks pretty beaten up. But we should be able to get the guns. I do not think they have components on the Avenger Titan. Well, physicalized yet. Unfortunately. Or at least if it does, let me know in the comments. But let me quickly at least take its guns and so forth. Not going to take the missiles. The missiles is not worth a lot. At the moment. But maybe in the future. They will be a little bit more expensive. Yeah, this thing's ramp is also open. I think if the ship is un unknown or the game takes it over, the ramps are open, I think. So far, all the ramps has been opened. Just need to... Do you think the port is unlocked? Let me just quickly see, by default. No, they're not. Okay. Let me just quickly... I'm going to press Alt-K just to see if it unlocks. Usually I just use the interaction wheel to unlock my things, but let's try the other way. 
Give it C. Alt K. I'll just use the wheel. Make sure. Ship ports unlocked. Okay, so you do get the prompt. If you do it. Nice. Now, the Avenger Titan. I do not think has physicalized components yet. Since I think this is like a little one of them. And so forth. And I could, can't see anything that I can open. So I don't think its components physicalized yet. But the weapons we can definitely take, right? Omni Sky is pretty decent. It's the meta at the moment. Not that we pay more for it. It's just nice to know, right? So I'm quickly put this down for myself here. I'll probably lay it down flat here. Just against my ship. Try to save space. Here we go. Corsair. The Corsair. If we find the Corsair. It's kind of difficult to loot the Corsair as well. Since. Currently if the ramp is not open. It's impossible to board the Corsair. So you can't just shoot up. Open the ramp. I think it's bugged as well. Shit. This thing was bigger than I expected. Okay, the next one here. I'm not going to take the missiles. Since they're not worth a lot. But the little Avenger Titan. About 8,000 here, maybe. Maybe 12,000. For all of the guns. There we go. Let's close this up. And we'll be on our way to another bunker. Until we fill up this. Fargo Bay. I think another one here is security post. I think it's also bunkers. So let me quickly go jump there. See if we can get another bunker. Or another ship at least. And quickly jump over. So NTs and security post. It's the places to look out for. So I'll quickly head over there. And let's see if we can find anything. Already got a ship on our radar. Another C1 spirit. I'm just going to get closer. Deal with the turret first. Before we do anything. There's another ship probably at the bunker as well. But very excited for the C1. Got a couple of uh, things as a Pisces. So let me just deal with the turret. Okay, turret is done. Let's go for the C1 first. This is probably the most profit, right? Activate my light so that you can see. Ramp is open. Nice. I just land my back to it. Go land it. Engine's off. Let's quickly open. I think it's just a default. It looks like a default, unfortunately. But we'll still take it. Definitely a little bit of money there. I'm quickly going to unlock the ports and then we'll start removing them. Take the shield first. It's not that critical. Drop it off at my little ship there. It's coolers. I think this is the cooler. For the most part. Let's see another component. But I hope it's there somewhere in the rocks. And then we can't take the power plant of course. But we can take the quantum drive. Which is nice. In the back here. Of the C C1. Spirit and then. Is this. I think this is the power plant. I don't know what the other thing is then. So you get sealed. Maybe it's the battery. Sealed, quantum drive. Cooler. I think that's everything actually. I think the other one is just the battery. Then let me just quickly load everything up. Yeah. We get the weapons. Okay, I finally found the other weapons. I realized that you need to turn the power on of the ship for it to be able to spawn. For example, 
if I press P, you'll see the weapons disappear. And when I press power on to weapons, they come out of the ship, which is kind of interesting. I never knew that. So I'll quickly salvage those as well. And then we can be off. It seems like they're going to move quite a bit. But I'll do my best. Can I pin more stuff? Maybe one more bunker if we're successful. We still need to go get the Pisces. That's here as well. I'll quickly fly to the Pisces and get these little repeaters. Yeah, the Pisces, you can see, has a big light going for it. At least. Oh, easy to spot. Okay. We're all good here. Quickly land. Let's inspect the Pisces. Doesn't connect very well with the ground, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll, we do have an elevator as well, if we need it. Need it. Let me quickly see. Maybe we got something here on the Pisces. The ramp is also open. Nice. I kind of need a little bit of water. So I might just quickly lay down here. To refill my nutrition and things. Okay, food and water is 100%. It's very nice of the Pisces to give us some, some nutrition. We quickly unlock the ports and so forth. Okay, ports is unlocked. So you can see you can't access the components. There's a scanner. So forth. I don't see any component base like here. Power plant. So let me know if you know how to open this, but I have no idea. Like I think you should be able to press here, right? To release. But you can't, so it's only the weapons for now. They do have little missiles as well. But we're just gonna take the weapons. Let's just fill up the gaps with this, I guess. These little little weapons. There we go. That one fits. Well, we can probably fit two of these. Hmm, maybe we should not be too cocky. Okay, there we go. All done. It is a hazard to have all of these components on your ship. Maybe one more big ship and we should be good to go sell. Okay, let me go to the next bunker. We're at the OM now. And we managed to spot a C2. So maybe we should take a look if we can find anything here on it. I'm just going to quickly give it a scan. I think it's unknown for the most part. Maybe we see if we can harvest any of its components since it's pretty big. Only thing is I need to probably open it right so let me quickly see if i can park just next to it yeah let's see i think it takes about two mags to open this thing Okay, maybe a little bit more than two. Oh no, it's actually two. Oh, two full ones, right? So let's see. We can enter this and make our way on board. I think all the components is at the top, though. Where is it? Carry. I think I think all the components are at the top, and I only have a small tractor beam. So it might be a little bit risky. We'll see if we can get them down. It's opening. Nice. Let's go take a look at those components. And if we can even pick them up with this small tractor beam. I should have brought the bigger one. I was just lazy. Well, I couldn't really. I could have gotten one, but didn't go to the shop for it. Let's see. If for some reason nothing wants to open. I tried. I've beaten it. I've shot it. Nothing wants to open at the moment. So it's probably a dead ship for us. So I'll probably take take the guns at least. They're pretty big. 
then we can make a profit with them, but it would be way better to take the components. I think the C2 component is physicalized, I just can't open the things for some reason. Okay, it's in, at least. We can take a look here. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> there's a lot of cargo. So I'll probably go sell this, everything that's in here. Let's go see how much we make. Biggest thing was the big weapons, right? Lot of weapons, so I'll quickly go sell this. I'll probably see you guys at Grimax. Hopefully we can make a profit. Okay, we're at Grimax. Finally, we've got our hangar and so forth. We just see if I can land the ship, and then we can go sell it down Perth Depot. Which is a pretty decent place to go sell it, I believe. This is my first day doing this though. Yesterday I experimented a little bit, but today I really did it like fully. Just to see if ship's components will sell here and there. There we go. We're gonna get out and then we can go sell. I'm gonna head over to Dumpers Depot and I'll probably meet you guys there. Hopefully you know where that is. If you find Dumpers Depot, just go up the stairs here, right? Take the stairs here as well. And then we're gonna look for the arrow. You can see there should be a little door with an arrow. We can go in there and then we should be able to sell our goods. If you have any, I did not store my ship. Just left it there. Maybe you can, but I'm a little bit worried everything disappears on the cargo bay. So let's quickly see well, how much we can make. I'm probably going to get out my calculator and just calculate it just for interest sake. As you can see, here's all the components. Let's see. I do not, do we, do we see the biggest guns here? Oh, here's the big ones, I think. The Gatlings, only 5k, so nothing too crazy. The most one here is probably the Jaeger. The Jaeger. You can see these are way better than guns. The actual components, not just the guns. But I'll quickly calculate everything here and then see how much we can make. We do have some trouble selling these big ones. So probably not worth picking up the, well, the C1, there's the A1, the big one, the big crusader ship, probably not worth it, so we're losing out on 10k, so we, in total, we made about 31,000, if we didn't waste our time with that big ship, but we didn't know, right? So these big weapons, you can't sell here, unfortunately, I think, but it has been pretty fun exploring and seeing what's laying around in other ships hope you enjoyed this video if you did please leave it a like and if you want to see more videos like this then you can watch this video right here where i show you how much money you can make by selling narcotics that you can farm at bunkers thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video